Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy, Rob the Rider, and today we're going to be doing a review of one of my favorite coasters and one of my most, like, not, it's a life-changing coaster. No, it's not a life-changing coaster, but, um, like, important to me. And, uh, I've, I'm pretty sure I understand this coaster pretty well. I've ridden it about 13 times, about, uh, I think, like, 12 of those were at nighttime because I got a nighttime ERT. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy at night. Oh wow, you, you, like the tunnels are blackout. Oh my gosh, I love this roller coaster. Especially at night, and it has an amazing light package. And I love the elevator lift system that like makes that creepy noise. It's like ding 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 ding. Well, this is the first roller coaster to go over 300 feet. And it set 10 records when opening. I'm not sure of all those records, but I do know... I think it's 310 feet. I, I The drop is 301 or 300 feet. That is pretty much all I know about this ride. And uh, it ha it uses a lot of overbanks. It has some uh, airtime hills. And yeah, so let's get into the review. First of all, the drop. I love the drop on this thing. It's an 80 degree drop. Very, very great. Um, provides pretty good air ejector airtime. Oh, I love the drop. Very nice. Then you go over to this overbank, and the overbanks, the overbanks on this are pretty fun. I do prefer the airtime hills, but the overbanks are pretty fun. Um, yeah, so uh, going up the lift hill, it's pretty high. You get a great view of uh, Lake Erie. Oh, I rode it that night, so I couldn't really see too well. And uh, Top Foot Dragster is right to your left. Yep, uh, on the right side. And you can see Top Foot Dragster, you can see Steel Vengeance, you can see Maverick, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, the view's amazing. Um, the airtime on this ride. Okay, it has three moments of airtime. The two floater hills, which are amazing airtime. Amazing airtime. And then it has one ejector moment, which is very good ejector. As you can see, Maverick is right there, and Mean Streak is right there. Now it's um, Steel Vengeance. But uh, yeah, I, I love, I love, I love this ride. And... Uh, yeah, and, um, so, um, I, I like the speed, I like the tunnels pretty good, so, yeah, um, airtime's pretty nice. Um, I do say, I do say I do like this better than Fury 3G5, uh, yes, that's just my opinion, um, some other people share that opinion, not too many, but, uh, when you're getting, when you're climbing this lift hill, you can really, like, compare your size to Dragster, and it looks like you're at the top of the Dragster, even though Dragster is much higher, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, this is a good airtime hill right here. Boom. Very good. I, I, my, my favorite one is the one that is the tallest one. That is probably most people's favorites. But yeah, the tunnels are really great. And, uh, oh, the station music. Oh my gosh. By far the best station music on any roller coaster. Maybe Top Four Dragster beats it, but I don't know, guys. Um, I'm gonna play a little clip of that music right now. Okay, guys, hopefully that was not copyrighted. <laughs> that would not be good. But, um, uh, probably is copyrighted. But, uh, as you can see, it's awesome music. Um, and, um, guys, you're probably wondering how long of a break did I take in between this. Um, I took about a 10 minute break, so my voice sounds a little different. That is why. If it doesn't, well, I don't know. Um, but I will be doing the POV review after this POV. But yeah, it's just um, this roller coaster. I love the color scheme on it, um, the blue and white. It looks awesome. Gives you the sensation of the speed, and it also is going pretty fast. It is hauling. Um, if you go to Cedar Point, definitely should check this out. Um, I wouldn't say it's their best coaster, but it's a very good one. Um, is Top Flow Dragster better than this? Um, probably. I prefer my Stratas over my Gigas. Except if it's uh, the one at Magic Mountain, uh, Superman. I mean, that one's good, but um, I like Millennium Force better. This is my number one Giga so far. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll be going to Virginia to ride uh, to go to King's Dominion and ride Twisted Timbers and Intimidator 305. Maybe Intimidator 305 will be my new favorite Giga. I hope so. I love Intimate Gigas. Well, here we go in this last overbank right here. 
boom, and the official POV review will start in three, two, one. Okay, guys, here we go. So, we're starting off our POV. I'm going to pretend like I'm a rider. Whoa, we're going high up. Okay, this is when you hear the sketchy elevator chain lift. It's like, ting, 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 ting. You'll know if you've ridden it. If, I, if you haven't ridden it, you're like, what the heck are you talking about? But it actually goes pretty high up. Um, it goes pretty fast, though. And then you hear that creepy noise. Ting, 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 ting. I wish I could play a sound bit from it. I could, but it takes so much time. I'm lazy, guys. <laughs> but we're going up here. And this drop, wow, it's amazing. In the back row, this drop is, like, really crazy. Like, crazy. Yeah, but that drop's pretty good. Very good, actually. Way better than Fury 35's drop. I, I just hate Fury 35. A little, actually, it's in my top 10. But, okay, yes. So that first overbank, very cool. Head into this tunnel. In the nighttime, it's an extreme blackout. Boom, you come up here. Come over this airtime hill. Amazing floater airtime. Best floater airtime I've experienced on any roller coaster ever. And then you come here, and then you bank um, to, the, to the right. Come up here, and... Go in some straight track. Well, not exactly straight track. Um, we go here and then next overbank. Pretty fun overbank. Um, yeah. Okay, we come down here. Enter our second airtime hill. Once again, extreme floater airtime. Boom. I'm surprised the camera did not fall out how much it was floating around. <laughs> okay, boom, black out if it's nighttime. Hit the tunnel. That's the best tunnel. It's where they take your picture. J ejector airtime on that hill right there. But yeah, guys, if you ride the roller coaster, that's where they take your picture. This is the craziest overbank. Feels like you're inverted, almost. It feels like, yeah, feels like you're almost inverted. It's crazy. Then you hit the brake run, boom, and you're done. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool um, roller coaster. I'd highly recommend you go check this out if you go to Cedar Point. Um, as an enthusiast, it'd be awesome to go to Cedar Point. Um, someday, if I get... Large enough following, I'd like to meet some of you guys at some theme parks. Um, then you can see my face. Mm -hmm. I might do a face reveal. But I, I said, guys, I'll do a face reveal if I get really good support. Oh, believe me, I'm getting very, very good support for a new channel. I've started new channels before, and I'm kind of a cringy person, so I do vlogs. <laughs> well, actually, there's one channel. If you can find my other channel, except maybe one family member is watching these videos, probably not because they don't really understand. But if you can find my other channel, it has 230 subscribers. It does vlogs at amusement parks. Um, DM me and, hmm, will I give you a gift card? No. Well, actually, if I look at my drawer right here, I have, oh, wait, actually, right here, yep, I have some Xbox Live gift cards. So maybe I'll give away one of those. I'll send you the code. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, I don't think you can find it, guys. And if it, if it's somebody I know who's like, oh, I found it, give me the money, I'm not, I'm not gonna give it to you. Um, because I know you. But, guys, if you do want to meet up at a theme park with me, please message me. And don't be like, oh, I'll pick you up at your house. I'm like, no, 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 please don't do that. But if you want to meet me at a theme park, okay, the two theme parks that would be pretty easy to meet up for me, with me at is, uh, California's Great America and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. If you meet uh, any of those two, I can get to Discovery Kingdom in about an hour, and I can get to Great America in about 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, well, 25 minutes. <laughs> but if you guys really want to meet me, that'd be amazing. I, I make me feel awesome. But if you if you can't meet me, don't go sneaking off and like, oh, I need to meet my biggest YouTuber. <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not really a big YouTuber. Um, Rob the Rider. I would be happy to meet you guys. Happy to ride some rides and do whatever, even if you're visiting or coming. Um, but yeah, guys, if you do want to meet me at a different theme park, like, that's not there, maybe your home park, um, uh, please message me and say what theme park and what day you can meet me. Next year, I'll be in Dollywood, um, Ferrari World and Dubai. Yeah, you heard me. Ferrari World and Dubai. <laughs> um, if any of you, there's somebody who's in Dubai and watches my videos, that's amazing. But, um, yeah, guys, we're really growing. Almost at 10 subs. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, but we're at 8 subs. That's awesome. But I've been rambling on. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep on riding.